Welcome to lesson two. You'll see on my screen I've got a uh, I've got a Mac Pages document open. On your end, you might have Word, you might have Open Office. Make sure you've got a typing program of some sort. That way, you can practice and see how you're doing. So you can pause this video and make sure that you've got a typing program up. And once you do, press play on this video again. So I assume you've got it up. Now just click anywhere on it, basically. And uh, today is going to be lesson two, and that will be the F key. And what we're going to learn in this lesson is how to type both the lowercase f and the uppercase f, as well as using the shift key and the space bar. As a bonus, we'll do the enter or return key as well. So this is how you do a lot of what you just saw me do right there. So let's start with the F key. So let's let's begin the whole exercise with your eyes off the keyboard. Eyes cannot be on the keyboard. I want you to look at your computer screen and where the cursor is on your computer screen. And I want you to move your hands onto your keyboard, but try to find the grooves that are the F and J key only with your index fingers. So your left index finger should find a groove and then which should be on your left and then the right index finger should find another groove. You have to trust this is the key. You have to trust that that is that your left index finger is on the F and the right in index finger is on the J. Once you've found the grooves, your other fingers should go side by side. So I want you to test to see if you're actually there. You can either look at your keyboard or you can just type with your left index finger what would be F and see if F came up. Now, if F, if, if F didn't come up, that's okay. Look at your look at your keyboard. And again, your finger should be positioned where index is on F, left index is on F, middle finger, left middle finger is on D, left ring finger is on S. Even I had to look and I know instinctively that that's an S. And uh, the right pinky finger is on A. And the left thumb is on spacebar, just like the right thumb. Over on the right side, your left index finger is on J, and you, you would feel the groove there. Your uh, right middle finger is on K, your right ring finger is on L, and your right pinky finger is on um, the colon or, and semicolon. And that's kind of where it is right there. So this is gonna work wherever you are because the quirky keyboard is, in the English language, the keyboard to do. So in any case, here we go. Uh, so what I mean is, is that if you buy another keyboard, say at Best Buy or Apple or anywhere, you're not in the English language, you're not gonna find a different keyboard w structure where the letters are everywhere. So they're all gonna be in the same spot. So here we go, let's practice F. So my fingers are and my hands are placed properly. And I'm just going to type F about five or six times. But while I'm doing this, I'm not going to count how many times I'm doing it. I'm going to say F, 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 F. That way, it's the muscle memory between my index finger moving and what the letter it's hitting is, is going to start connecting. So it's going to help with memory, basically. So with your hands in position, just ta tap F. And let's do it about five or six times. And you can say F out loud, or you can say it in your head. F, 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 F. There you go. That's that's it. That's pretty much what all of the lessons are going to be, but we're going to do them together in short intervals so that it doesn't feel like a lot of work. So that's the F key. F, 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 F with your left index finger. And you know you're tapping the right key because your left index finger can feel a little groove there. So uh, now let's practice on an uppercase F. So press the return key this is your first uh, foray into your pinky finger and all the work that it does. So keep your right index finger on J and move your pinky finger over to the return or enter key and just press uh, that twice with your pinky finger. Now the reason you have to keep, you don't have to, but it helps. The reason it's good to keep your index finger on the J key is because there's a groove there and that just helps your fingers return back to their, uh, their first position. So that just helps. 
So now that we're on a new line, let's practice the capital F. Now to capitalize something, there's two ways to do it. One way is if you're gonna do a lot of letters that are capital, and, and that's the caps lock. And the other way is if you're just gonna capitalize one letter and then continue on with a normal sentence. Caps lock is when you tap the caps lock key. And a lot of times on a lot of keyboards, there is a little light that tells you when caps lock is on because it's a very special key. So I tapped it with my index, but you shouldn't. You should actually tap it on and off with your pinky finger. And you can see how I'm keeping my left um, index finger still on F while I'm tapping the caps lock. All right, so with caps lock on, if I just type a bunch of Fs, you'll see on my screen, they're all caps lock which is great, but it's a terrible habit to get into of using caps lock. You're gonna find you mess up more times than, than you succeed uh, if you're only trying to capitalize one letter. So I'm gonna use my pinky finger to backspace or delete, depending on what it says on your keyboard. We'll get to that later though. Uh, so the best way to do it, if you're just capitalizing one letter, is the shift key. So all you have to do is keep your, and in general, if you're left, hand is doing a lot of the work, you want your right hand to help it out. So uh, if I'm tapping F, I should be, I shouldn't have my index finger tapping F and my pinky finger tapping shift all on the left hand. You want to have your right hand doing some of the work. So I'm going to keep my right index finger on J, move my right pinky finger down to the shift key, which is normally below your return or enter key. And you can look at your keyboard for this moment. And I'm just going to hold down on shift. That's I'm going to just going to keep holding down. Nothing should happen on your keyboard if you're holding down shift um, by itself. So while I'm holding it down, I still have my index finger on J, but I'm going to start tapping F. And you see that it's uppercase now. And I can say F, 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 F. And that's it. Now I'm going to let go of the shift key and return my fingers back to normal. So let's put this all together, then we're done. So I'm going to use the return or enter key, which you're going to get used to. So again, keep your right index finger on J, but move your pinky finger over. It's okay if these two fingers raise up. It's just good to have your index on J because it's like an anchor. So I'm going to move my index finger over to the return or enter key. I'm going to tap it twice so that I've created a new line. And now I'm going to do a uh, capital F one more time. So I'm moving my right pinky down to shift, keeping my left index or my right index still on J, hold down shift and tap with my left index finger F. F, 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 oh, and my finger actually, my index finger slipped and pressed J. So I'm gonna move my index finger over to the delete or backspace button and tap that. But notice no matter what I'm doing, again, my right index finger is on J. So I'm going to hold down shift again with my right pinky on my left index, tap F, 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 F. And that's, that's the second last thing we're going to do. So now let's return one more time with your, with your pinky, your right pinky finger, press return or enter twice. Now we're going to go capital F, lowercase f, space, and keep doing that, okay? So you got this, I believe in you. If I was able to do this, trust me, you'll be able to do this. So I'm gonna hold down shift with my right pinky finger, tap F with my left index. Now I'm gonna let go of shift, tap F again, which automatically makes it a lowercase. Then with my right thumb, I'm gonna press space bar. Okay, so for the first few times, you can look at your fingers for the first few times. So let's look at our fingers this time. So uh, now that I've already created a space, I'm gonna hold down shift with my right pinky, keeping my uh, right index anchored, tap F with my left index finger, let go of shift, return my fingers, tap F again, now it's automatically lowercase, and then with my right thumb, I'll make a space. So let's do this a few more times. I'm gonna give a little bit less detail and we'll just get used to it. So, right pinky shift, left index F, let go of shift, 
press F again, and then right thumb space. Let's do this again. Capital F, lowercase f, space. Capital F, lowercase f, space. About three more times, then we're done for today. Capital F, lowercase f, space. Capital F, lowercase f, space. One more time. Capital F, lowercase f, space. And we're done. You've learned the F key. You're going to find out you've also learned the basic functions of space and shift. So every other letter that we learn, it's going to be the same process. Except, of course, if I'm doing a J, I would use the shift on the left side and I would use the space on the left side. So that's how you make sure that both your hands are working at the same time. Because when you get to a fast speed, it's, you need that. You need one hand doing one thing, one hand doing the other. And that's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below.